Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Friday, the 19th of March, starting off with Ferro Alloy Resources. And uh, looks as though we've got a mid move. Uh, it's unbelievable they've got a mid move breakout, uh, so that does imply there's a lot more to come. Uh, here we need uh, an end of day close above the initial high this week at uh, 31 pence. If we get an end of day close above that level, then we could see a new leg to the upside up towards that uh, late September resistance line projection. Currently uh, pointing at 48 pence, and that could be seen as soon as the end of next month. Otherwise, uh, if we don't get through 31 pence, then probably more churn between 20 and 32, or where we are at the moment. Moving along to a stock which um, was highlighted here on the uh, 4th of March, unbelievably, uh, largely on the basis of the uh, gap to the upside. And uh, as uh, we have a rule here that uh, gaps remain unfilled, that uh, tends to be the sign of a multi bagger situation that turned out to be the uh, the uh, case at uh, Futura Medical and uh, the view now is that at least while we're above the initial target we, that we had uh, at the beginning of the month uh, near 32 pence above that we could see a new leg to the upside as high as 60 pence by the end of next month so above 32 pence possibly as high as 60 pence for Futura Medical stock which has been requested and is looking uh, interesting on uh, not only on that basis is uh, iNexus Global. Here it looks as though the shares are bouncing off the 200 day moving average at uh, 4.97 pence. We had a two day bounce off that. That was also so the support area uh, at the end of January. And uh, we sort of bear trap below the initial March floor at 5.2 pence. So end of day close above 5.2 pence, and the shares could at least be retesting the February peak at around 8.5. Uh, if you're uh, an optimist and you want to see a bigger target there, the top of the wider channel there from Mar from May last year is uh, currently uh, promising us a target as high as 13 pence over the next one to two months. But uh, we need to get that uh, weekly close above 5.2 pence to get the show on the road on a technical basis. Uh, on to mobile streams, which I think I covered uh, yesterday. I'm not quite can't quite remember that far back, but. Uh, this does show the rule of that uh, gap, the unfilled gap to the upside. We had the gap yesterday. That's been held. And in fact, we've broken yesterday's uh, peak. Uh, that was around um, the 0.33 level. So anything above 0.3 really and anything above the uh, top of the gap there, the top of the gap at 0.26, uh, now suggesting that we're going to make some decent progress. And uh, the target here is high as 0.6 pence, which is the top of a uh, an April trend channel from last year. Let's see if we can do something like we've seen at uh, Futura Medical with mobile streams. Onto a stock which I do think I covered uh, just a few days ago. New Formix uh, seems to be progressing well. Uh, the idea here is that we've uh, got a bear trap gap reversal. So we gapped down and then we closed above that gap. I think we did that on the uh, 12th of March and we've held uh, largely above that uh, level. The top of the gap there was at 2.3 pence, so above 2.3. Uh, looking and feeling bullish and looking towards a top of November triangle target as high as 4.5 pence as soon as the end of next month. So end of day close and a weekly close today above the 50 day line and 2.6 pence just uh, uh, confirming the bullish uh, situation there but uh, basically above uh, 2.3 in that uh, gap top uh, then we should be heading higher for new formics. Uh, stock which hasn't been covered here for quite a while, but uh, back today uh, with a bang. Um, we've got Ov Ovica uh, Bio, and uh, here it looks as though we've, uh, after the sort of sideways uh, churn that we had since the beginning of uh, January, uh, we're likely to close above the January peak at 11.5 pence and also the 200 day moving average around the same level, above 11.5, looking for a decent move to the upside, uh, possibly as high as 22 pence. Uh, there is the issue of that uh, gap there, the top of the gap there at uh, 13 point, uh, let's call it 13.2 pence. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe you want to see that closed and uh, an end of day close above that uh, before targeting 22 pence. But uh, today's spike looks uh, pretty uh, strong. And uh, as I said, as long as we hold above 11.5, we should be on our way with Ovica. On to another uh, well, stock, which is uh, probably about as obscure as you can get it. I think even I've heard of it before. Um, and uh, it, it, it is called uh, OTAC. Uh, here we've got, uh, uh, looks like uh, the break of a falling wedge, which is actually the break happened uh, at the beginning of February. 
Uh, we've been sideways since, which is uh, decent. It's a good thing to do. And uh, all we're looking for now really is a decent uh, weekly close above, let's say, the initial March peak at 31 pence. So we get to end of day closes above 31 pence. We should be on our way. The target here, uh, which sounds rather optimistic, but the target here could be the top of a broadening triangle uh, from the, uh, well, I suppose this time last year over the next two to three months. So let's see if that uh, rather uh, left field type of uh, stock choice actually delivers the goods. Stock, which is also pretty left field at the moment, is uh, uh, Path. Uh, here we've got a situation where the shares uh, look as though they're basically about as low as they can go, Path Investments at the moment. Uh, the glimmer of hope for the bulls is that we appear to have broken that uh, line of resistance from earlier this month. Uh, we may have done that today. And uh, an end-of-day close above uh, 0.3 pence uh, could be the sign that the shares are finally bottoming out. Otherwise, if you're not quite so uh, ambitious or uh, into sort of high-octane situations, wait for an end-of-day close back uh, above that late February low at 0.35. Uh, that would then hopefully then flip the shares back up towards the 0.6 area again. So got a choice there, either catch the falling knife uh, around current levels or wait for an end of day close above 0.35 on path investments. A uh, stock where it looks as though from the latest RNS that uh, the overhang has been cleared. And that's uh, highlighted by the way that we've got a key reversal to the upside, i.e. we broke yesterday's low and are now well above it, uh, above the high rather. The high yesterday was at... Uh, 6.5 pence, an end of day close above that. We should be on our way higher for uh, Powerhouse Energy. Initial target there back towards uh, the 9 pence peak of uh, February. And then after that, the top of a rising trend channel from uh, way back in, uh, what well, I suppose, uh, the summer of last year up to 14 pence on a two to three month view. But uh, initial target there, 9 pence. And uh, that's valid at least while we hold above the 6.5 pence level yesterday's high. Uh, another out there choice today, we seem to have quite a lot of them, is um, uh, Petra Diamonds. Uh, here the uh, uh, technical of note is the way that we had a gap down uh, earlier in the month. Uh, the top of that gap is uh, at uh, 1.54 pence and an end of day close, a weekly close today above that. And we could be on our way to go back towards the top of the range from the uh, uh, end of December around the 2.2, uh, 2.3 pence level. The other highlight in terms of the price action this month is, is that it's been a bear trap uh, from below the uh, old low uh, seen in uh, October. Uh, that was around 1.25. Today we've actually gone down to, or this month we went down to 1.2 pence. So that is looking like a decent uh, reversal situation if you're into uh, the Petra Diamonds type uh, experience. Uh, stock which has been requested, um, and uh, here it is now, is uh, Ross Group. Uh, some questions regarding the uh, f the fundamentals of the company, but at least on a technical basis, we've held that gap there, the one from uh, last month, the top of that gap there at two pence. And while we're above that, uh, we're looking for higher prices uh, in terms of what they may be. Uh, I think the uh, current trajectory of the shares is that they appear to be in a rising trend channel, which is uh, heading towards the six pence level. And uh, certainly while we're above the uh, late uh, February uh, uh, peak there and today's low at uh, 3.2 pence on an end of day close basis, there is a decent possibility of heading up towards 6 pence as soon as the end of next month. Uh, chart of the day, which is perhaps uh, also rather uh, surprising, is uh, Rear Bold Resources. I think we've had some news from the company. We've got a trend line break there from August. Uh, that was at 0.65. So uh, like to see an end of day close and a weekly close today above that but uh, the overall structure here looks absolutely uh, incredible in the sense that we've got an inverted head and shoulders possibly uh, if we close through 0.7 pence we had an island gap a bear trap island gap reversal which is about as bullish as you can get in terms of the charting configuration but even if you don't believe in all that uh, at least while we're above the 50-day moving average at 0.59 uh, the target here could be up towards uh, that resistance line projection from February last year at 0.95 as soon as the end of next month. Uh, cautious traders obviously might want to wait for a 0.7 to break, but the trend line there has already been broken from August, so that should be enough, uh, that break at 0.65. Finishing off uh, with a stock which is uh, going from strength to strength, apparently, uh, uh, and uh, 
we've seen a decent push to the upside today skin biotherapeutics uh, nice uh, tester here of old resistance the old resistance uh, from back in january the initial at uh, 44 pence that was the low yesterday and uh, pushed higher much higher today top of the channel from september is heading up towards 80 pence and that could be seen as soon as the end of may given the current uh, rate of progress for the shares that's it for me today more updates tomorrow well in fact over the weekend